Hi everyone, Bill Parrish here from GTT Audio. Welcome to the channel today. Today we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to take you around from room to room and let you have an inside view of what it's like at GTT Audio and some of the gear that we have on the floor at this time. Come on, let's go for the journey. Okay, this is the room that you enter into at GTT Audio, what I refer to as the studio. Any and all products that come in for the first time that be evaluated from manufacturers I don't represent or new products that I'm, uh, I'm evaluating, they come into this room and we do the evaluations here. You won't always see all this equipment here on the floor. Things move around. Um, for example, right there in the middle, we have a nice big pair of AudioNet Humboldts, and the AudioNet Humboldts are in there breaking in for Expona. They're here sometimes, they're with reviewers sometimes, can be at a customer's, they get moved around. And over there we have the system. And we'll swing around on the other side. When the stern's not in the system, the audio net pre G2 will go up there. I want you to know every system everywhere at GTT Audio is rune ready. If you're going to be doing music from a hard drive or over the net streaming, you'd be nuts not to use rune. Rune to us is the only way to do it. We did a video on that with the Nucleus, the Aurelic Aries, uh, Kabbalah Sosna, Cables. There's a lot of different ways to do it, uh, but Rune is to us the only way. Here we have the Sonya 2.2 speakers. We're a major retailer of YG Acoustics. We have all their products on the floor, as you'll see. We've got the PMC Fenestria speaker. PMC is a company out of the UK. More of a, well, it's a professional monitor company. So it's a pro company that this is their flagship into the, uh, the uh, hi-fi business. I said I believe in our first video subwoofers. I think every system should have a subwoofer, in fact two subwoofers, and the grand scheme of this system, I mean these subwoofers are very inexpensive and uh, they just add so much. They add depth, they add space, uh, sound stage, width, height, they're just amazing. A pair of JL audios. And this system, very relatively inexpensive. I mean, you pick up two of them for less than any component in here. Here we have the Mola Mola Kaluga mono amps. We've got the AudioNet Humboldt, the Maxes. Every system we carry one cable. It's Kabbalah Sosna. There's just a little bit of wire around here, just a little bit. Give you a picture of the depth of the system or the room. I've got a bunch of boxes over here. Doing an install tomorrow. Records everywhere. Sony projector, along with a bunch of ATI amplifiers and uh, 13 channels of amplification and a Sony projector. Going to a happy customer tomorrow. We've got the Kronos Pro. Sitting on top of the SCPS. You got the AC to DC converter of that uh, over there on the right to that SCPS. We got an audio net disc player, the Art G3 on top of an EPX. Audio net hum, uh, stern line stage, the Mola Mola. Makua line stage, 
the Tembuki DAC, and we are one of the one of four Oralec dealers in the country. It's a great piece. Okay, on to the next room. As we enter the next room, well, we've got our Kale Audio cleaning machine with all the records around here. We definitely need that. Got the Kronos Sparta, the Kronos SS CPS, an AudioNet Phono Stage. Pam G2 with the EPC power supply. Up here we've got the Chrono Sparta 0.5. We have the AudioNet DNP sitting on top of an EPX. We have a Pre 1G3 on top of an EPS and an Amp 1 V2. Over here we have a discontinued but still very good and sought after AudioNet VIP. They call it the versatile integrated player. Plays all formats. And we've got the Oralec Aries G2 here. We've got an Oralec Vega G2 and then the Oralec Leo GX clock. Down below, another Mola Mola Tambaki. And down at the bottom here, we have the Kabbalah Sosna Expander. Now I said in the first video, and I'll say it again, every system needs an expander. I mean, we're running all this equipment out of a dedicated line into the expander. I don't care if you have line conditioners, other distribution products, there is nothing that's going to beat the expander. We've tried it against everything. I think if you're serious about audio, and you, you definitely need an expander. Here in the center, you saw this last video. We've got the AudioNet Humboldt integrated amp in the middle. We've got the amp mono blocks flanking that and then the maxes on each side of that and then we have the yg acoustic haley's these haley's are really a, a great speaker great speaker really a high performance kind of the sweet spot of the line fit and finish is just unbelievable you can't even see a screw on the back. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And while I'm at it, I might as well show you some. There's the audio net. Max and amp. And the Humboldt. Let's take you back here. All right, there's a great photo by our friend David Robinson over at Positive Feedback. I was with him when he took that in Munich. So here on the top shelf, mentioned it when we talked about the integrated, the SAM 20 SE. Then we have the AudioNet Watt. Fantastic integrated. We've got some other stuff there. Another EPS. We've got some more Oralic equipment. We've got the JL Audio CR1. Here sitting on the sidelines, just because we can only have one speaker set up at a time. We have the YG Acoustics Carmel 2s. We've done many shows with these, many of reviews about these. This is the best two-way 
on the market today. And then uh, just a, a little bit of Kabbalah Sosna cables as we swap things in and out and do demos. As we enter what I would consider demo room four, see a pair of key threes right up front. Key three, six drivers, two in the rear, one on each side, a tweeter and a mid-range in front, so four woofers around and then a tweeter and a mid-range forward firing. 3,000 watts, all powered, just at a source. This is also our where we demo clips. Peter Berniger of AV Showrooms did a nice little listening session in here in one of the latest videos. You can check that out over at avshowrooms.com. Here's a pair of Klipsch Heresies. In that video with Peter, we showed the Cornwalls. Big speakers. Only $6,000. 15-inch woofers. Horns. See if I can't pop this off and show them to you without the grill. Really, really nice. I've got the Lascalas. You can see they're so heavy, we've got to put them on a skid. And then we have the Forte setup. Because we had a demo on Saturday and where I was demoing the Fortes. Those little scallops are pretty awesome though. Got a turntable set up there. That's a clear audio turntable. We've got an audio net integrated, the DNA, an Oralic on top. So not a lot of equipment and eye candy in this room, but still a great sounding room with four pairs of clip speakers and really that world-class key threes. And now we're going to enter the best sounding room and what I would consider what I call the big room, which many have seen. And if not, you should come out for a listen. Let's just see it in all its glory because a video cannot really capture it. It truly can't. I mean, this is a big room. We're 11 and a half feet high, well, almost 12 feet high, 35 feet deep. Kronos Pro. Kronos Phono Stage with its power supply. You got the Kronos SCPS. The Kronos... AC to DC converter, the big audio net stern preamplifier. You can name the input. We've got the Mola Mola DAC as the input. Audio net PAM G2 with EPX. The audio net Plunk Ampere Mola Mola Tembiki. And the Orla carries four pairs of audio net Heisenbergs. These things are really, truly, truly awesome. Take you back here. Slew of cables. You see how we buy amp? We take an interconnect. We don't use a Y connector. You can use a wire connector, 
but there are no compromises in this room, so we take an interconnect right from the preamplifier all the way back to the amplifier. Land a cable on each binding post. The back of the big Sonya XVs. So we've got the three cables coming off the amplifiers landing at the top of the main module. Then these cables down here are an output going over to the second base tower, essentially a jumper. JL Audio Gotham subwoofers. Clients who are in this room quite often thinks that that's a nice addition. Not that we need them. When you have something like the Sonya XVs that are clearly full range. But we only bring them in at 25 hertz and below. 25 hertz on a 24 dB slope and uh, barely have the volume on. It's just enough to give a little bit more air, a little more definition. Sound stage takes place, uh, it seems like it's 30 feet past that wall when you sit and listen. Records everywhere. So I'll flip this around and let you see the room this way. All right, that completes this tour for today. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. We showed you four different rooms here at GTT Audio. There's a back office with some computer items to display, small powered speakers. I didn't think that was that interesting uh, for a video. And then we have a screening room with a drop-down projector, Genelec speakers all the way around, data sat. Uh, we're doing uh, whew, seven, seven around, uh, two subs, and four in the ceiling. It's a full Atmos uh, DTSX uh, Oro uh, theater, but uh, almost impossible, the video, so we skipped that as well. Total of six rooms here. We showed you the inside of four. Uh, we'd love to have you in for a demo, so, um, you know, if you're, if you're in the area, if you're in New York City, traveling out, you know, from, from far away, let us know. We'll come pick you up. We'll get you out here. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Next week, it's going to be real fun. We are going to launch, right on this channel, a new product. We have a manufacturer, which we represent, coming out with a new product, and they're flying over, and we are going to launch it right here, live on this channel. So again, be sure to subscribe so you know when the videos are out. Like, share, please share, and comment below. Thanks a lot.